When was the last time you stopped to look at something? I mean, really stopped, really looked. This is Main Street in Hendersonville, North Carolina. When you live anywhere long enough, chances are you don't stop and look much anymore. If you're just visiting, chances are most of your looking is done at eye level. But if you take a moment to look up and down and all around, you'll be surprised and delighted by what you see. If you walk down side streets or look in back alleys, it's like seeing a whole new town. You'll see bits and pieces that haven't changed much since they were built. Hendersonville became the county seat of Henderson County in 1840. It's located in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Western North Carolina, about 22 miles south of Asheville. The current population is about 14,000. Judge Mitchell King, a wealthy landowner from nearby Flat Rock and Charleston, South Carolina, donated 79 acres for the new town. Slaves did most of the work, clearing the land and laying out the streets. King wanted Main Street to be 100 feet wide so that a carriage with four horses could turn around without having to back up. Much of the architecture that we see today didn't come until the 1880s and 90s. Getting to Hendersonville before then was not half the fun. The mountains were a natural barrier and the rivers were not that navigable. It wasn't until the coming of the railroad in 1879 that things started to take off. The station is a few blocks from Main Street. This is actually the second passenger depot on the site. It was built in 1902 and served the city until 1968. Before the railroad came, it took up to 10 days to reach Hendersonville by horse-drawn coaches from the coastal areas of North and South Carolina. After the trains, it took two days and suddenly the town became a reachable destination. Not only did the train make it possible for people to escape the summer heat, it allowed for commerce. It opened up new markets for locally produced products. Hendersonville became a center for apple growing and is still one of the largest apple growing regions in the country. As you walk down Main Street, you'll see historical markers that tell you about the previous occupants and how the buildings were used. In 1988, Hendersonville's historic downtown district was added to the National Registry of Historic Places. Community leaders recognized that Main Street was not some obsolete relic from a bygone era, but a bona fide asset to the community's growing tourism industry. They understood that it had to be carefully maintained and protected. They knew it was once and still could be the heart and soul of the town. For it to be able to remain that way, it would have to continue to grow and evolve, but in ways that would respect the character and what and who had come before. Once Main Street was filled with banks, government buildings, hardware stores, dry goods shops, shoe and dress stores, doctors, dentists, and lawyers. Today, there are more restaurants, antique shops, and gift shops. Things have been repurposed, but the bones are still there. This is not the Hendersonville of 100 years ago or even 10 years ago, but in some ways, it is. The people who founded the town and helped it to grow and prosper had a vision. Their architecture is the embodiment of that. It reflects their hopes and dreams. The people who live and work here today have a similar vision. They have the same community pride as their predecessors. They also have the same responsibility to preserve and protect what we see today for those who will come tomorrow. If you visit Hendersonville or if you already live here, look up and look around. You'll be amazed at what you'll see because it's always been here, just waiting to be noticed. Visiting a place like Main Street and a place like Hendersonville, North Carolina, reminds us that travel is the only thing we can buy that will make us richer.